Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio for love and relationship for the month of May 2021. <laughs> Either you are like you know, trying to do classes online or trying to be like you know, really studying something, something to do with like, you know, just um, something to do with the law. But what I'm picking on the most here, like, you know, that you are paying a bill, like, you know, it could be like, you know, for some of you also like, you know, trying to fix the, your credit, um, trying to have like, you know, really strong credit. You might be really paying a ticket also. You are waiting on your taxes and I get here some of you like you know, really fixing your taxes also. Too many too many things here in, 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 in your reading. It feels to me like you know, that you learned a lot during this relationship with someone that you really care about the most. This person like you know, that wants to marry you or be with you. And I get here that this person like you know, have been really like you know, just waiting on a certain time to be with you with you. But I get here unfinished business with happiness and fun from this person. They are they love you so much. This person is emotional for you. They want you to be real like they want to be in your life. Like you know, so it's kind of like whatever you did an effort with that person, they want to reward you and give you what you deserve because they think you deserve the best. Sometimes I get here your person say some things like you know that randomly, random talk. And you might be really like, you know, get too sensitive about it. And it says here that you take things like, you know, you are so picky, like, you know, and you are like, you know, so much like, you know, in details about what this person, the way they said that sentence and re word, re word that person, uh, that uh, sentence, it just keep hitting your mind and it does annoy you. It says here that your person just say random talk, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes they don't mean it. See, they don't mean it. Just out of the blue, they say something random and they don't want you to be really too sensitive and immediately like, you know, that's it, I'm done. No. Some of you are going on a trip and I get here some of you are traveling, going somewhere to get married. Congratulations. I see marriage in the beginning. Some other people have marriage also. Like, you know, it seems to be that your person thinking about like, you know, this is my wife. I want her to be my wife. I want you to be really like, you know, I want to be a husband to someone like, you know, just it feels to me it goes for a girl and, and a woman. I'm sorry. It came funny a little bit. I apologize. So dear Scorpio, you are getting married. And if you, uh, the, your person didn't propose yet, I get here like, you know, for some of you, he or she is headed to that because they want to be with you. Yep, you're getting married. I get that again. Speaking about marriage and marriage and marriage and marriage and marriage. Okay, you wanted that marriage a long time ago, but sometimes you feel like you know, that you wanted to push your person. Maybe he or she is not sincere about you. They don't want you and all of that. No. And it says here like you know that you have been really, for some of you also, you did learn your lesson from past affairs that did not get you anywhere. And I get here, you find your person sometimes communicate with the ex and it does really annoy you and make you like, you know, a little bit jealous, but not really very much like before. But I get here, just friendly. It's not even two friends anymore. Friendly, chat, talk, nothing. And sometimes I get here that you believe that your person like, you know, that doesn't really pay attention to you personally 
of your needs, like, you know, not really there for you. This is what you think, not actually the person doing this. But they pay attention to their friends more, talk on the phone the whole time, chatting with the, their friends. It does really upset you. Feel like you know, that your person into themselves sometimes for some of you like you know they move to a different place different apartment and which is they can really move in with you since you are committed in a relationship together and you are like you know what's up with that we are together together we know each other very well we spend all the time together how come like you know, that they, we are still in different places you want like you know, really to be asked to move in or you want to be really asking your person to move in but this person have been pushing the idea away and it says here not now when we get married when the marriage happened really for some of you if you have a relationship at this time like you know, with someone I get here that if you are going to be really this summer like you know, enjoying your time with trips uh, trips uh, you're gonna take a trip and it's going to be really the romance of a lifetime. That's, that is is going to be really like you know, making you both sure that you're going to settle down together. Your person does not want to lose you. But I get here you left other relationships that it was really unmeaningful. And you are trying to hide from it and walk away from it completely because it disappoints you. It did not really get you anywhere. I don't know why the past... It's like, you know, in the present, you have some kind of like, you know, memories or flashes from the past that makes you like, you know, like, you know, the light comes out and, and dim again, like, you know, in a way that, you know, you want it, you don't want it. You don't even want to remember it, but it comes as a flash. There are, like, you know, some of you, like, you know, with someone, like, you know, who is really, like, you know, that they don't have any money and they are embarrassed to propose to you and say, like, you know, I'm here with you because you might be really paying their bill and they don't want to be really, like, you know, stepping up to the marriage also because they feel, like, you know, that they don't want to be burdened because they're going to disappoint you as, like, you know, that if you are a female and this person is going to disappoint you as not really, like, you know, being a genuine husband to pay the bills and pay everything, but this is something like you know, within that person. You never really like you know, ask this person for anything. A lot of you are getting gifts and money from other person like you know, they are happy. Yes, your person think that you are the one. They are fully committed to you. Whether this person have a business or doesn't have anything. It seems to be like you, know, you have different situations. Not all of you the same thing. But the same story, kind of. Excuse me. Yep. Your person is coming through to you. They want to be with you. You should like to feel really great. And your person is coming like, you know, if he or she is not really like, you know, having money here, we said, there is money coming from them or expecting money to come to them and that money is coming. You want like you know, your person to establish more. You want to be sure of your person loyalty. Because I get here there is a certain person that you are annoyed with specifically. That you want this person to go away. There is so much money coming in your business if you have a business or you have a work or a job i get here there is good money coming it's like you are you are changing a door or like you no know, opening like you no know, wider on a different door that is going to bring really like you know, a lot of money for you and i get here your person wants to settle down with you they want you to be in their home but there is some fear fear about what they fear that Fear of competitions, like, you know, that they know you can really be with someone, you can do better. Or you can be with someone who's better than him or her. This is a doubt on their part. This is some kind of insecurity on their part. And I get here, they don't want to lose you because they are embarrassed that you do a lot and they don't do much. 
and I get here that they are afraid that you will find someone better. Like, you know, sometimes, like, you know, there is an issue or a struggle a little bit here. They are afraid that you're going to step away and you never take them back. But I get here, they are trying to do good toward you. But there is some embarrassment from this person. Like, you know, that they are embarrassed that they are not do doing enough for you. You, well, you are separated from other people. You don't want other people anyway. But it looks to me here that there is a positive new beginning. It's going, like, you know, whatever worry that was on your mind is going to be corrected. Like, you know, that the worry, the pain. Who are you sleepless? Like, you know, that you cannot really sleep at night. It says here, rest assured, that your person has devoted themselves to you. This person loves you. Want to fulfill your wishes. They don't want you to, do, to doubt that. If they have been acting off with you sometimes, because he or she is doubting themselves. And it reflects on you, like you absorb his or her energy. So don't worry, whatever it is, there is a future there. You have a future together and your person wants a future. Even for some of you, if he or she did not speak up, soon they will. And a lot of marriages I see. And it, it seems to be that, you know, there is a marriage also for uh, uh, your son, your, your, your sister, or your brother, siblings. It seems to be like, you know... Um, or your daughter, like, you know, there are marriages, like, you know, happy marriages that you will be invited to also. Partying here and there, other people are getting married, not just you, but you are, you are going to. Dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoy the reading, and if you need a private reading, please contact me, and the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. And uh, on the left-hand side, on the upper, click on reading prices, Purchase your reading, then give me a call. The phone number is listed on my website. Please look like you know at the page, my business hours in the Pacific time. And I do not work Saturday and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.